Hey everybody, welcome to 2021 and the first on the paint table for the new year. Happy new year to everybody watching. Um, and yeah, what have I been up to? Well, it is a full lockdown here in Ontario, uh, meaning that I've been spending time over the holidays with the kids. Um, I've been doing a little bit of painting, dabbling, mostly just relaxing, hanging out, um, cooking lots of food and just spending time indoors because that's what we do when we're in full lockdown. Uh, lockdown's gonna go probably until I think the 23rd here in Ontario, uh, meaning that all non-essential businesses are closed. I can still go into the studio by myself, obviously, but I can't have guests in. Um, so I've been working on writing, doing some painting projects, and I painted my first two models um, of 2021. Uh, I'll be keeping busy doing a whole bunch of book reviews, uh, solo gaming content, and luckily, yeah, there's lots to do. So <laughs> it's not really gonna slow down videos. You should see videos every day. Uh, and I kicked it off by starting to paint um, some stuff so that Owen and I can play through uh, a campaign of Battletech Alpha Strike coming up uh, later on in the month, probably at the end of the month. Uh, we'll kick it off. He's painting his clan forces right now. Um, and I'm painting my uh, my Torian Guard, which is a periphery small sort of faction. I went and did a little bit of research on what I want to do for my Inner Sphere Max um, and came up with the Torian Guard, which are like a, a Torian Confederacy, sort of like a parliamentary monarchy. They're, they feel a little bit feel a little bit Canadian. And so that's who I picked. Uh, the color scheme's kind of interesting and I used it as an excuse to try out and demo um, the Imperial Hobbies paint sets that I was sent over the holidays too, uh, because I was gonna do them for Widgets and Wonders this weekend and I wanted to make sure I'd given them a try. Uh, I painted up all the scenery for my Battletech um, hex maps using those paints, but I want to actually paint some models with them too. Uh, and you can see that right now. Painting two miniatures so far in 2021. Got a bunch of new stuff that I'm excited about too. Uh, so let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So here's my first two models of 2021 uh, on my slick new neoprene game that for Battletech, uh, along with the train I painted last, uh, was it last week or two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Uh, it's two Battletech minis from Catalyst Game Labs. There's an awesome done up in the Torian Guard um, color scheme, which is like brown, gold, and red. Uh, and all using the Magic Portal Pack, Scavenger's Toolbox, and War to End Wars um, paint kits, which you'll see tomorrow from Imperial Hobbies. It's a little Etsy or independent sort of like gaming paint company that has made some really nice paints and I'm really happy with them. They're a lot of fun. Uh, they're like a liquid pigment and they blend really nicely and um, they're all in dropper bottles. And so far I'm having a good time painting with them. Uh, they've done a variety of techniques on this. So I could test out and see how, what I thought, you know, sort of like about their consistency and stuff. So I dry brushed with them. Um, these were primed uh, with just, um, Rustoleum Painters Touch 2 in 1 flat primer, and then dry brushed with, I can't remember what the brown's called, Highlands, I think Highland Brown. Um, and then uh, Snail Shell is the, the beige, and I mix a bit of that in to give it a lighter dry brush. And then they have a high noon shade uh, wash. There's one shade in here, and it's really neat. It's like a flat shade. Uh, I'm kind of pumped for it actually, uh, and each of these three kits comes with it. So I use that over top, and then went through and picked out all the details. Um, there's a rust brown. I basically got all the reds with, and then went through like a sort of get a, a cherry red, and then mixed a bit of that snail um, shell in there too to give it a highlight. Uh, the um, sort of like darker tones. There's there's two yellows in the in the three packs. There's a, a couple of grays. Um, I don't remember the names of them all because I'm just trying them for the first time, but I'm really happy with the finish. Uh, and they they covered really well. Um, after a good shake, they they were nice and um, and uh, sort of like easy to blend with and stuff too. You can see I did some blends on the the canopy here to just sort of jewel it on the Battlemaster. And then I numbered these guys. This is going to be my assault lance um, for the Torian Guard. Uh, of four battle mechs, and I've even done some reposes. You can't really repose the awesome. His guns are kind of like um, fixed to his elbows there. But I reposed this battle master, and I got two more in the coming up pile for this same assault lance, another battle master, and then a warhammer that I also reposed. So if you've seen the pictures of the the, the stock ones from Catalyst, um, these are the first four mechs I painted for the year. Uh, and these ones are just with the, the base dry brush down. Um, and uh, the only non-Imperial Hobbies paints on these guys is the Astro Granite that I've used for the bases, which I've done all my Battletech minis with uh, from Citadel. But it's been dry brushed with the same grays um, from the Imperial Hobbies box set. And I managed to get like a really nice finish out of them. Uh, and, and yeah, I'm pumped. I'm going to paint the rest of this army with these. I, I like to do that when I try out 
um, like a paint line. I like to use just exclusively that paint line. You've watched me do it for the last little while with the Army Painter Mega Paint Set, just like exclusively using that palette. I'm doing the same thing here um, with these paints just to give them a go and, and see what I think. And that way you're not sort of like, if there's any kind of like gaps in the range, you're not augmenting it with paints from somewhere else and you're also having to limit and or stretch yourself a little bit by just using the paints to come in a box. So I was happy with it. Like I've only got one metallic though. There's no metallic gold or metallic bronze. So I, I did the bronzes um, and the golds on these guys with like an actual yellow. Um, and I find that's a nice way to like test stuff out and see what you think. But obviously this is their first offering. So there's there's not a huge range of colors, but um, the colors themselves are really nice. They blend, they blend really well and the mixture paint is, is really, really quite cool. So. Uh, yeah, and then coming up, what do we have? Well, we got my two other lances. Um, the campaign system we're playing with, I posted on Facebook this week. It's like an indie campaign system for Alpha Strike. It's like exclusively made for Alpha Strike. And I want to play the seven game like Planetary Invasion one. Um, and so you have a 500 uh, point value roster to pick from. So this is my 500 point value roster that I play games from. And I have to like repair them. They get trashed. The pilots can die. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it. Um, but I've got three lances. I've got a, this is a battle lance. No, battle lance, cavalry lance, actually. This is an assault lance, and then this is a light striker, I think. Um, but the other two lances, this one is three wolverines, um, land and griffin. The only one of these new catalyst mechs besides the urban mech I haven't painted yet, and the, sorry, and the, the legendary pallet mechs. Um, I felt like if I was going to do like kind of a Canadian flavor to the Torian Guard, then uh, having having three Wolverines uh, kind of felt right. So I've got a bunch of Wolverines, and again, I've reposed them all. So I think the standard pose is this one on the Wolverine, the way it comes glued together. And I just I pulled the arms off and then repinned them in like new poses. So each of my Wolverines is different, and I'll number them differently too. And the unit leader is going to be the Griffin. So it's it's um, like a, a cavalry lance of like sort of fast moving speedy max. Then over here is the, I think it's Light Striker. It's a Phoenix Hawk that I um, repose a catapult. There's not a lot you can do to repose a catapult or a locust, um, but they're my last, my last sort of like group of like Light Strikers. So they're like all light recon mechs with a nice long range um, missile boat in the catapult, and they sort of like hoppy, dodgy, like leads the leads the scouts in the Phoenix Hawk. This is like the scouting brigade, and this guy sits back and. They call in fire support from him, but I'm pumped to do like an actual like little company of battle max. I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, and obviously we're gonna play it um, out against the clan invasion of clan. I don't know murder weasel where we have a cover for the name for Owens clan. And he can't decide. He, he it's, it's funny. Yeah, I don't know. I hope it ends up being murder weasel or something like it. Um, and then other stuff I'm working on right now. I am so pumped to paint this. The new um, Mirage five came in um, from Corvus belly and it's so cool. Like, uh, that is, this is the best, I think, representation of a piece of art to a piece of like miniature sculpting I've ever seen in my life. Like there's, you can see the outline of the art there in the background is so well done. It just captures the motion. It captures that like, that like angry animal hunch um, on Durok. And yeah, I am pumped to paint these. These are, these are some of, like, this is some of my favorite characters, I think in, like I have the original. This is one of my favorite characters in Infinity, and I like. I am so excited to paint these guys. Uh, on top of that, I've got um, Octavia Grimsdot here to paint up. She's a an um, A2 sort of like a, um, mercenary, and just a really really cool kind of cyberpunk model. I love the like kind of fireman jacket she's wearing, and I'm gonna probably just steal that scheme for her too. She's a really nice mini, but she's also got like this big axe. So I'm just. <laughs> it's such a neat like. Um, Svarlaheim a mercenary model. And then I got Fat Yan Yan Christmas Edition. I thought this was hilarious. I'm so happy I got one of these. He's such a cool mini. Um, and I love the trope of like Fat Yan Yan just going into forever. Um, sweet Christmas. <laughs> Fat Santa rides again. Fat Yan Yan knows that at Christmas if he wants to steal a pulpy beer shipment, he only needs to get a Santa Claus costume in order to go unnoticed, a powerful motorbike to make a run for it, and especially his lucky socks. Because these are not just any socks, they're the space pirate socks. <laughs> the Yan-Yans probably believe in saying that in space, no one can smell your socks, which is why they never wash them and the reason why people rush off whenever they get too close. So, with such a smart plan and amazing stuff, what could go wrong? You know, this Christmas, socks will suck. <laughs> oh, man. I love... Curse they're so good at doing these, like, fun just like themed things. Um, and I'm pumped to, to give him a page up too. So there it is, what I'm working on and what is coming up. So you got the first on the paint table of 2021 done on the books. I got two miniatures painted so far this year. I have no idea what my resolution should be or how many miniatures I painted last year. I think I'm just gonna try and do, like I'm not gonna, 
I don't really want to do a resolution where I'm like trying to beat a number anymore. It's just not how I'm enjoying painting and I don't feel like I have anything to prove as far as how many miniatures get painted in a year. So the thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and paint a certain number of miniatures a week. If I can paint seven a week, that's seven times 52, that's what, mm, 350 a year? That's a reasonable number. If I paint a miniature every day, you know what I mean? Like 365, sorry. Like, why don't I, why don't I try and do that? So maybe that's what I'll do. Um, but anyway, if you want to get in, lots of people right now are setting their resolutions for the hobby for this year uh, in the GMG hobby, re res re hobby Resolutions Facebook group, uh, which I'll link below. So you can go check it out for 2021. Uh, and of course, you can go through all the past years where people posted some incredible like results um, and are kind of chatting about it right now. Anyway, we'll see you next week for more on the paint table. And you can check out my review of the Imperial Hobbies um, paints. Uh, that's not really a review. It's more like um, an overview of just how I use them and what comes in the box and stuff. But Witches and Wonders tomorrow, it's on a mash. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can. <laughs>